remember, this is going to put a lot more pressure on joints. You'd have to be picky at how heavy you go with this. And this is definitely hard. I forgot them even. Yes, six kilos. That's only six kilos. 12 kilos. But you think, hang on, 12 kilos on one top of one knee. Now, I'm not very heavy, but that's about 8% of my body weight. Bang, straight away on top. So you have to be careful how heavy you go with this. And a lot of people will think, oh, but I can lift, you know, 40 kilos when I squat. Yeah, but we're doing single leg work here. We've got to dial it right back. So with this one, you'll find it's just, they all seem to be fine with their stability. It seems like the normal step down. And again, this actually anchors them a little bit. It's the after effect in that knee that you've got to watch. Because with all loading of weak knee joints, when you start loading them with weight, there's the after effect that you've got to countermeasure, okay? Or you've got to be worried about. And I'd make sure that, you know, you're, are you doing load for, you know, is that joint ready for it? Does it need it just yet? Because they might do that. And if you don't go home with a warning on that one, on their program, write it down, special notes, and we'll talk about special notes tomorrow, is bear in mind, I want you to stay light on that because that may hurt you tomorrow as in you'll feel a bit of, post pain and it's probably not going to be muscle it's probably going to be joint because they're not used to loading their joint they've never done single leg step down still squats with load they've never done it so it's going to take its toll on them and you have to be careful how much you load them up that's why that is sort of down here and when you look at a program 12 week 24 week 8 week whatever it's down the track a little bit they've got to be conditioned to that point and their mechanics are really good otherwise yeah they're going to hit their kneecap so when I do this one, I get muscular pain in my glutes and my quads only. Maybe a bit of hammy. Okay? I don't get any joint loading because I can keep my knee stable. Okay? Stability and load. When you see a C in this sort of scenario, I will try and verge load and stability together. That's the ultimate. Can I do a step down with load on a BOSU with great form and do it three eps of 10 or whatever I'm going to give to that person, right? Same with the band. So, you know, if they can do band really well, they can do step down band, add some load on. Because if you tighten the band up any further, it's just going to pull their knee in. So it max out the point where their bands, that's as far as they can go on the band, then you stack the weight on. Then you're going to see some really, really awesome changes in that knee strength on a single leg. If they can do single leg squats with a band and weight, they're nearly out the door. Okay? They're going really well. You probably won't get any knee pain. They'll probably be able to run at that point and be go, my knee doesn't hurt. That's where sort of that's where that exercise is getting towards. You know, they should if they can do a single leg squat with weight and a band, no pain, no problems, three times a week, they should, you know, and they want to run, they should be able to. Unless they have impact issues, and we'll talk about impact in a minute. But they've got enough strength for it. Have they got enough impact loading strength? 